What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. Right, so this is going to be a part two from my update slash hangout live stream. Although this is obviously going to be doing on video uh, as I'm recording this. But um, I have shown you guys a ton of stuff from the uh, live stream slash update. And that's maybe the most massive and biggest update of albums that I have purchased on CD and some more on vinyl. However, there are some things that I totally forgot to show. And there's one record that has just arrived today. So I will show that for the last bit for this video. So I have one record to show that I totally forgot to show from my update hangout stream. And this is one of those albums that I bought from HMV. The only record that I forgot to show on the previous video is Gojira with Magma. Now, this album, for some fans, don't really regard this as like either a great album or just one of their best albums. Personally, I think this is a really, really good album from the band. And I know that music-wise can be a little more uh, very simplified. And they still have a lot of these really good groovy riffs. And this is a very, very deep personal album. Especially if you know what this record is about. And I've actually played this album on CD last week. And this is a pretty moving album for some people there are some excellent tracks on this record but the one that gets to me a little bit emotionally that i thought was the second to last track lowlands but it does have some great tracks the shooting star the cell prey record wise it's just as this lyric sheet lyric sheet decides to come out it's just standard black colored vinyl. But this is the um, the next album that I've bought for Gojira on vinyl. Can't believe that Gojira's albums, uh, earlier ones, can go for an excruciating amount of money. So I have From Mars to Sirius on vinyl and Fortitude and now this. I need to buy the earlier albums on vinyl as much as I can. I think the next one that I'm going to be buying is um, L'Enfant Sauvage. Because I've played that one recently, earlier in the week. And it's still an amazing album. Hence, it was one of my favourite albums uh, from Gorgira as a whole. So that is that only vinyl for this tiny part of my update. The next thing is another box set, and this is pretty much very much alike to the presentation and the packaging. As I have done my Black Sabbath Sabotage Super Deluxe box set, I decided to pick up the Volume 4 Super Deluxe box set. So here's what the front looks like with the non-inverted picture of Ozzy. There's the back. Again, four discs. That's what the spine looks like. And I have not listened to the remaster done by Stephen Wilson. But I have listened to the fourth disc of um, Live in the UK. And I think that performance-wise, it's very, very good. But the sound quality is not as well put together and uh, well perfect like the uh, Sabotage Live one from that box set. But I am still really glad to purchase this box set. And the contents are different on this. The second disc contains the new mixes of songs and uh, outtakes. Uh, the CD3 has uh, alternative takes, false starts and studio dialogue. And I think that this box set is really good. Especially for what's on here. But... For me, the Sabotage box set is better than this one. But I decided to pick this up because it's a part of my Black Sabbath collection. So that is that. Now on to the record that 
I have just received. This was a record that I've pre-ordered and it's been pressed to vinyl for the first time through a different record label. This is Boris with the album Flood. This is another album to be pressed by Third Man Records, which is Jack White's record label. And I still have the, uh, the sticker right here. I've played this album, and this is always one of my favourite Boris albums. It's a trifold, for those that are interested. And here is what the full thing looks like. And I'll, I'll flip this over to the other side. So, it's a double album pressing. There you go. There's the picture of the band. This is more or less a really, really slow, but heavily, heavily dark, atmospheric type of sound. And it does go into various places. A lot of delay looping to some really slow, uh, doomy riffs. And just some of the most, the most beautiful ambient textures. Yet it is definitely one of those albums that, for many Boris fans, as, as one of their very best. So, <coughs> excuse me. And... It does have the uh, insert right here. So it does have the lyrics in English and as well as Japanese. Credits are down there. And the other side's just the um, same part of the album artwork. But I've played this album on vinyl and it sounds great. The only thing that I would have expected a bit better is that Besides that this album is more than an hour long, I want to listen to this album in a bit of a different setting. If I would have had a different idea for pressing this album on vinyl, uh, three sides of the music and side four as a, an etched design of the uh, logo of this look of the Boris name and Flood in, uh, in large. But needless to say, I highly will advise you to buy this. And I do love At Last Feedbacker. For those that have seen my uh, update uh, and live stream video previously, but definitely check this one out. And they've always been one of my favourite bands outside of the UK and the US. So that is that. Boris with this brilliant... A remaster re-release of Flood from uh, Third Man Records. Anyways, that is the uh, part two update video for this one. Thank you very much for watching. And the next video coming up will be the collaborative album review with Jake and Richard, who we've reviewed Iowa by Slipknot previously. And we are going to be reviewing System of a Down's Toxicity for Classic Albums Revisited. So keep an eye out for that, guys. Once I will let you know, the video will be uploaded. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.